Hey guys, it's Jess. Um, coming on today to read a roomie card for you guys. Bringing some love. We need it. All right. <laughs> okay. Sacred Convergence. Ah! <laughs> Hi, wind. Let's just peekaboo you right here. All right. Roaring about town, the master was holding a light, saying, I am weary of the demons and the beast. A human is what I am longing for. The human cannot be found. We have searched. What cannot be found is what I am looking for. Although poor and needy, I will not accept small pieces of ruby. The mine of the finest rubies is what I am longing for. One hand holding a cup of wine and the other the curls of the beloved. A dance like this in the middle of the circle is what I am longing for. How I have longed for you, my very own. Look no further for the family beyond your family, the relationship beyond all other relationships. The great love that unveils all other loves to be mere reflections of the one great and true love is here for you now. It is I who has sought you through the stirrings of your own heart. Yes, twas I hidden beneath every secret, yearning for something more, something full, something special, something all-encompassing. Behind every yearning always I have hidden. Now I show myself to you that you may become so filled with the same passionate devotion that I hold for you that your mind will fall away overwhelmed by the sheer intensity of love tossed into an ocean of silent, unending bliss. Come to me. We are to be one now in sacred convergence of silent, eternal passion. Sacred convergence indicates a coming together of souls in alignment with a greater cause. This greater cause is both personal and impersonal. There is an aspect of joining together for common purpose. Although that purpose may not be immediately obvious at a level of day-to-day -day consciousness, that common soul purpose may be lift each other into greater love and self-belief, to shed fear and open the heart, filling each, each individual soul with more holy fire for its personal passionate purpose. You'll have a sense when this process is happening. There will be a coming together of you like-minded like souls who hail from all walks of light and yet together through some invisible genius you will help each other. You may simply be dancing in the same room or singing in a group, attending a class or workshop or just visiting the same beach or parkland. But at that, that moment there will be a sense of something coherent and nourishing happening at a far greater level. The trickle-down effect into your personal life will be felt too. You'll have more energy after spending time with these people. Even if you don't interact very much on a personal level, beyond being in the same space, you'll feel empowered to step forward on your path and love yourself with less conditions. You'll become freer to shed your fears, forgo to relationships based in fear and judgment, and open up to those more loving responsive and inspiring to continue on your personal journey in increasingly po profound ways. This oracle has come to you because you are part of a greater sacred convergence happening now. Perhaps you have already sensed its progression, or perhaps it will not be obvious to you, but the effect, whether obvious or subtle, will be important to your soul development and divine awakening. You're being asked to drop defenses and barriers towards groups of people that feel good to you. However, those that dampen your spirits or drag you down are to be dispensed with, no matter what games or blame or manipulation they play to keep you coming back for more. No, that shall not do for your soul growth now. Just step away. Turn towards those connections that feel nourishing to your soul and learn to share yourself without fear. Just be. You do not have to force the planets to spin or the great cycles of the soul to happen. 
All that is required is that you show up for what is offered to you now. Do your part. Take your steps. Dance, sing, and be, and allow the gifts of sacred connection to change your world. For this is the spiritual gift presented to you now. This oracle comes with a special message. Perhaps you have been thinking about shedding lower vibrational connections based in the ego world of power games, sabotage, manipulation, and fear. Perhaps you have already begun this process or even shed so many that you are fearing you might have over pruned to be left with nothing and no one. Do not fear, feisty angel of love. Your truth is prevailing. You cannot stay in a vibration of fear if you want to dwell in a vibration of love. Whilst you learn to sustain that vibration within you until it cannot be rattled by any crisis or demand, you are wise to place yourself in more nourishing connections. If you want a plant to grow, why not give it the best soil and conditions in which to do so? Certainly the plant of love can and will grow in the most inhospitable conditions, but it can be rather more joyful to grow in gentler, more nourishing conditions if possible. This oracle comes to you with guidance that the possibility for more joyful relationships and growth of love within is in your power. You can choose each day, each moment. Just make a choice. Trust yourself, your discernment, and your intuition, and choose. You do not owe anyone anything. Repeat this law of karma. You only owe love the chance to grow. So let that be your guiding principle now as you release the old. And trust that even in your garden of relationship becomes sparse for a while. You've been cutting back unhealthy plants to allow for new life to flourish. It is only a matter of timing for the season of new life and growth to come again, and so it shall, bringing with it sacred convergence of souls on the path of love, your soul tribe, your soul family, your new tribe of those journeying upon the path of love. Rumi who loves me unconditionally, I open to your grace, I hereby declare I am willing to release those connections that no longer serve my spiritual growth on the path of love. I release relationships based in fear and open to those based in love. I surrender the need to know, to judge, to assert control, and to be in the right. I open up to tolerance, intuition, and honoring of my heart. I open to love. Show me the way, brother of my soul. Guide me through your grace into the sacred convergence of my soul and divine love in its most precious, gracious expression, now and always. I call in my soul tribe of love and I open my heart to nourishing connections and always now, so be it. this moment. I love you. Remember who you truly are.